Now, here in France, debate today over President Macron's Ukraine strategy. At the National Assembly, MPs are to discuss the president's policies towards Ukraine and Russia before a non-binding vote tonight. And it is likely to be an opportunity for those MPs unhappy with the government's strategy to air their concerns. Well, to tell us a bit more, let's cross now to the National Assembly. Clovis Casali is our reporter covering political developments today. Clovis, what kinds of messages do you think we're likely to hear from the main parties during the debate? And then do we know how they'll vote tonight? Well, first, one of the members of the ruling party, Renaissance, was telling us there can be no ifs, no buts. France must show 100 percent support for its ally, uh, Ukraine, with this bilateral agreement, uh, planning notably for three billion euros uh, of aid to Ukraine for 2024 alone. Uh, we do know that other parties are set to back uh, this agreement, notably uh, the right-wing party Les Républicains, but also the Socialists and the Green Party. Not the case of the far right, the National Rally, uh, who will abstain today, and the far left France Embowed of Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who will be voting against. One of the sticking points is, of course, the political aspect of this agreement, with France committing to uh, support Ukraine in its bid to join the European Union and join NATO. But this will come in many, many years, we're told, of course. Earlier with Gael Fonseca, we spoke to Laurent Jacobelli. He's a member of the far-right party national rally of Marine Le Pen. He explained to us why he will abstain today. Take a listen. We are abstaining because, first of all, we support Ukraine. We want Ukraine to find back uh, its uh, uh, borders and to live in, uh, in freedom, of course. But on the second end, we don't want to uh, back the president policy who said that we could send French army uh, to uh, fight against Russia, which will be crazy and probably uh, uh, lead to a, a, a third uh, worldwide. Uh, wow. So that's why we will abstain in order to say to Ukraine, we are with you, but to President Macron, take care to your decisions. So Clovis, that's the view today of Marine Le Pen's party, the national rally. Tell us, though, about the president's perspective. What is it he's hoping to achieve in this debate and in this vote? Well, Nadia, one could argue that the French President Emmanuel Macron wants all political parties to unveil their views, to express in the open air what they think about the war in Ukraine, notably with, their, with his big rival Marine Le Pen uh, and her party, the National Rally. Uh, they, just like the uh, far left of Jean-Luc Mélenchon, have been accused of uh, proximity, even complacency towards President Putin of uh, Russia. And for President Macron, today is a chance to get them to speak out, explain why they are to abstain or vote against uh, this uh, bilateral agreement uh, set to help, of course, uh, Ukraine. Worth pointing out that um, the national rally uh, says that uh, French President Emmanuel Macron wants to uh, provoke a third world war with Russia. President Macron, on the other hand, says that he wants an ambiguous strategy. Uh, by that, he means uh, not unveil any intentions, but show Vladimir Putin that he can't do what he wants in Ukraine and that France and Europe are ready to defend their ally. Uh, France, Baltic states, uh, Scandinavia, many countries feel that um, Russia might not stop at Ukraine and uh, presents a serious threat to notably the Baltic states.